Hey guys, what is happening and welcome to this video. So in today's video, we are talking about gold and silver spot price versus the actual price and why it's so different and why you need to know about this. All right, let's do this. Okay guys, so I managed to get a microphone working with my camera finally. So this video should hopefully be a little bit easier for you guys to understand. So a lot of people are wondering right now, why are gold and silver spot price so different to actual physical gold and silver prices? So there is one thing, a lot of people have no faith anymore in the money that is being printed by their central bank, the fiat money. And that is why you're seeing money flood into cryptocurrency and also gold and silver. But what you're not seeing is the sheer volume and demand in gold and silver, which is right now. And I've spoken to many company CEOs and executives, and one of my friends down in the States has spoke to the, uh, I forget the name, I can't remember the name of the company, but it's a big silver dealer in the US and they basically explained it really nice and I'm going to explain it to you guys. So basically in a normal environment, spot price dictates the price, but however, sometimes that spot price is not kept up with the actual price. And you see this, let's use gasoline as an example. You've had it before where gasoline prices have gone way out of whack with the futures price. And that happened in England when you had tank driver shortages way back, I think it was in 2010, 2011. So basically it's a supply and demand market, but if the spot price is not actually keeping up with demand, then that's a bad thing. So what you've got in silver and gold right now is you've got the market is actually buying lots and lots of silver and gold. But guess what? The spot prices aren't accounting for that. So the actual price, the physical price to get your hands on it has actually risen because basically what happens is it's a supply chain. So you've got like the dealer that's buying from the mint and then you're buying from the dealer. And basically the dealer's prices have gone up. So that means your prices go up and they've gone up so you're now buying silver and gold way over spot and the thing is you can actually get deals where people will buy your silver and gold for way over spot as well usually the same websites that are selling it as well but you just got to do your research now it's no secret that buying silver and gold is a great hedge against inflation in fact it's one of the oldest hedges against inflation if you think about it you know, it's been used since literally the Egyptian times when pharaohs and kings and queens used to hoard gold. Like there was a reason for that. And gold is literally the currency of kings and queens and silver is literally the currency of the people. But the thing is now with modern monetary policy, people are really starting to get worried about what is happening to their money and the faith in the monetary policy and the overall money is dwindling. And even in Canada, we're seeing this happen because believe me, and I've called around because I've been looking to buy silver and gold. And if you call around to local coin shops and dealers and you ask, hey, you got any silver? you got any gold, the chances are they've got barely anything and what they're selling is very, very expensive. You could literally go to a place like Silver Gold Bull here in Canada and buy it brand new for about $50 more, $50 to $100 more, depending on whether it's silver or gold, because silver has higher premium prices than gold. So there is literally a movement right now of people all these people who are smart and they're waking up like people who watch this channel and they are hedging against inflation be it with cryptocurrency be it with silver and gold and that is getting central bankers worried and you know it's really no wonder when you think about it i mean inflation is set to end the year in canada around five percent five percent and the bank's target rate is meant to be two percent 
they say it's going to be transitory, but of course it's not with a lot of things. I mean, things are going to be transitory, like lumber, but you may see that spiking again, and you may see other things going up in costs, which I'm going to discuss in the next video, guys. So stay tuned for that, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. But yeah, silver and gold, if you call around your local coin shops and coin dealers, you're going to be surprised by how many people are on waiting lists to buy this stuff because it is crazy. Here in Calgary, I, ca I called a local coin shop and I asked, hey, have you got any silver? And they said no. And I said, oh, can I go on a wait list or something like that? And they said, there's so many people on the wait list, it's really not m worth me going on there. And I was just like, wow, that just shows you how many people are waking up and are sick and tired of what's going on right now. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, a quick explanation to why silver and gold spot prices are so out of whack with physical silver and gold. And I hope this video was helpful. I will see you in the next video, guys. Take care. Peace and love as always. Bye.